Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner and our hard mode series. You join me in Alaska. We are in uh, White Valley. We're in the Derry Longhorn. We've got our, our heavy trailer with us. We were about to go and cut up the leaves and drill parts. Now, the trailer, last time, last time out? Yeah. Last time, I think we brought it last time. We, uh, it's one of my free ones. It's one of my naughty free ones because I don't like that we can't sell them. I'm going to go over there every time. So, to balance it, we are going to pay for, or happily pay for, the cargo here because we can't fit a crane on here. So, it's to allow us to keep ticking through jobs without uh, worrying about pulling trucks through for sort of not necessarily for no reason but just just because of the grain issue if we've got the free trailer we can pay for a little bit of cargo now and then more than happy with that compromise again guys let me know in the comments uh, how you feel about that whether that's something we should keep up or you know just what your, your opinions are on it. I just think the car, uh, unsellable trailers is such a a lost resource. Right, so let's just make sure we want four drill and spare parts. Drill and spare parts. One, two, three, four. And there we are. Lovely. So that cost us 600. The job is going to pay out uh, 1550. So it's, it's not not any massive amounts. Uh, we've just got to go out and round to the factory for this one. Mr. Mouse will disappear in a minute. Now I think the plan is after this to then fit a low hitch, and um, I'm just going to bring the fuel through. Yeah, we'll bring the fuel through. Um, for, the, for the job, but we will not deliver it. We'll park it up on the side so we can use it while we're doing our, our longer deliveries so we can keep topping up from and hopefully save some for ourselves. And then... And then go and move the other fuel trailers. Well, we've got the low hitch on. Then go and move the other fuel trailers to where they'll be great use for us, I think. Yeah, I might leave the the Lodestar in Pedro Bay as a fuel mule and bring the tankers out so I can pull them to where I want them, maybe. I think that might be better. Although at the minute we're doing reasonably... I don't want to jinx it, but we're doing reasonably, reasonably well on fuel. Which is strange, considering I was so bad with fuel in Michigan. Doing all right. We've still got, a, we've still got a, fair, a fair bit of work to do. Um, what's this? Must be episode ooh, day 16 here. So, probably, if we're lucky, we might be at the halfway point. I'd like to get through here in, in about 40 days. I think that's what I said. 35, 40 days would be nice. So we could be on track for that. We could be. Depends on how well the log can go. Like I said last time out, I think I said last time out, I've got some new log trailers. So I'm going to try that. They will allow us to pull a little bit more, but we'll, we'll need the power, obviously, in the vehicles to do so. Uh, nicely done, mate. The next challenge is uh, waiting already. Okay. So did that open up anything else? So it didn't. So let me just double check. So, oil barrels are coming from the drill inside. See, oh, is it really bad that I'm happy to lose a little bit of money and just keep auto doing this? <laughs> is that bad? Um, no one will need a trailer to do some stuff. Town supplies, do some stuff. That's all timber, timber, timber. Um, Order Master Supreme. 
oversized cargo. Do we do we do that? See, I've got it all set up. So do I do that? Not worried about concrete slabs and cement, but do we get started on maybe the large containers? Or the, at least the oversized cargoes, get them done to the warehouse and the factory. But then I've got to come back through, save it. Um, I'd rather crane that, I think, although that'll be more of a challenge. I mean, I've got to go that way anyway. I'm heading that way. Oh, I can't take five either. So no, we won't we'll wait until we've got a trailer with five slots. Because we've only got four slots. Makes no sense to just do a bit of it. Um, the mining is uh, drilling equipment. And that's not here. That's from Northport. Or dr deliver to Northport. So where is the, uh, the drilling equipment? in it's here yeah picked up from there okay so we're not down there and valley pipeline is obviously in the white valley so yeah we shall just for now hit back up and move We'll do what I said, we'll do some fuel moving, we'll do some logistics for a little bit today. <laughs> the uh, the turn and circle is amazing here, let's put this in on tick just so I don't constantly flaring about. So perhaps it is, perhaps we're at that sort of halfway stagey bit where I'm now going to be moving things around. Getting things in order for the second half. Do I do the large cargoes since I'm all set up? Ooh. It's with um, Cargo Apocalypse and all the Master Supreme. When we have to jump, jump through gateways with lots of stuff I'd prefer to do it with like two trucks ready so maybe with this and with the Royal loaded up good to go so maybe wait on it mainly because just because it saves me a load screen if we all go through together rather than keep coming back and forth Excuse me. Oh, I've got a right tickle now. I'm just going to go quiet for a second. I was going to say, hopefully that's sorted it, but as soon as I uh, hit unmute, I could feel it again coming back. A tickle in my throat. Alright, so I'm going to...
jam this, jam that jam. So stick this here for now, because we will want this later on. I just don't want to go too far away, but I have to kind of mess about a lot. I think I might get the cat, put the cat's fuel trailer on. Because I don't I don't think I'll use it for moving logs about here. I'll I'll have a play around with um, the the different trailers that I get, that I've installed when we do logs. So I won't don't think I'll use the cat, so I'll, if I get the cat fuel trailer, which I think it will take a, a large lump of the fuel that we're about to collect anyway. And I think it's in here. So if we customize, what is the capacity of that 1600? It's not that big, is it? But yeah, we'll um, we'll stick that on because it will get used. That will that will be a thing for certain. Um, so we shall. Let's pop that out. We'll jump back in the garage if we can. Got a lot going on here. Can we hit the garage? We can. There we go. Right, so then with the dairy, I'm sure we can put a low saddle on it. There we go. I actually quite the, like these. Now, they should work with everything. But sometimes I've had a little conflict with that. I find that they're a little bit looser and give you a little bit more more wiggle room with your trailers. We'll take this one for now. I don't think there's anything else we can do. Sorry, my voice is going to sound funny. I don't know why it does it every time. Yeah, all good. So let's go get this trailer. Is this one empty? Has this got fuel in it? Have we got more fuel here? No. I won't delete it just yet. Not just yet. I will delete it though. Bloody trailers. And then where we want to go is just down here and in there and it can be a bit of a chore must remember not to deliver it <laughs> uh, it's got like 3,000 it's a fuel in there and then we'll have two two trucks with fuel in because we have the is it, I forget now do we have the GMC or the Kodiak it's got fuel stored in it one of them has a fuel trailer on, uh, full of fuel. So that's uh, probably 1,800 or 2,000 litres on that. So we have another 1,600 litres. So we could have, thir we could have 3,600 litres in storage, spare, wait. That would be cool. This here can sometimes give a little bit of grief. I shall try and remain calm. <laughs> As we already get stuck on one tree. Could even put some in that little scalp fuel trailer, couldn't we? 
if needs. So I don't know why I went straight into the middle when I when I know I need to go up on the edge. I just don't like making it easy for myself, do I? That's the that's the fundamentals of it. I'm sort of trying to swing myself around. Where's my little pip gone? Come on. What are you doing? There we go. Trying to turn an airbus sometimes. Again, I think that's another one of the reasons why I quite like smaller trucks as well. Just because they, they're a little bit more agile. Oh, <laughs> that missed. <laughs> there we are. So, how much is in there? So, I'm going to lose my voice again. It's a lot. 3,000. Okay, so it's loads in there. Nice. Nice. to have, <clears throat> excuse me, it'll need to have 370 litres remaining for us to be able to successfully deliver it. So we'll stick it over on this side until I want to deliver it. Which will probably be right at the end, one of the last little jobs we do. So I'm tapping out the way a little bit. So, Caterpillar, come. And we'll tow this fuel trailer with it as well. I should do some... some math, but... I'm a bit lazy for that. If I do it now, I'll be expected to do it all the time. <laughs> So we'll just <laughs> we'll do whatever, <laughs> whatever comes.
Because this won't even take out half. Combined it will, but just the count on its own won't take out half. So it's churn up that road that I know I'm going to want to go up and down. Let's do that. That's, that's smart. <laughs> right, so let's just take a little minute. Let's not mess this up. So I want to come out of here. And I want to go into the fuel carrier to start with. Is fine, and then I want to go into the scout. Still at twelve hundred left. If I then nice, 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 nice. So we can take out say 600 still we take out well, probably 650 which is quite a bit which is nice which is nice it's nice to think we have fuel um what do i want to do with that scout trailer I'll probably take it with me actually. Oh, too far away. So I just want to turn around, really. I'll put it back, sort of in the garage forecourt. Let's see if we can get him through the broken fence area. Now, again, other than to rescue the, the Derry Longhorn, I never use the cat. I hear reviews and I hear other, other players say on how much of a beast it is, great for recoveries, just gets through all terrains and stuff like that. So I imagine mine will get stuck in the snow straight away. So I think it's one of those sort of slow plodding giants where it will just get there. Regardless. So for now. Just park over here, out of the way. In the dairy. And we're going to make our way back to uh, Pedro Bay, which feels so long ago. But back to Pedro Bay to grab the fuel trailers from there. Top up the load star. Bring them right through to wherever. So having them near entrances is what I like to do with them. My fuel trailers really. Top up as you come in and out. The little ones are sort of scattered about a bit more. Try and collect up the the royal and the um, the ANK.
Hopefully we'll have time. Should do. It's not even dark here, we've got loads of time. All about preparations. Afterwards, I might just, I might just switch back to the high saddle and do those large trailers or those large containers, oversized container deliveries. Might do that. I don't think that that definitely won't be today, though. Certainly not. Not if we're travelling at this speed. Just want to reach the uh, the gateway so I can <laughs> have a good pop. Try and clear this tickle in my throat again. Down there, that's where the dairy came from. Now that does feel like a long time ago. Hopefully I come come out the other side a little bit more comfortable. Alright, let's get going nice and speedily speedily. We will take this route down. I don't think there's anything I can really pull through from here. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh, I haven't got my. I have got the. I've got the low hitch. We just moved the fuel trailer. Ooh. Give myself a little scare there. It's the sort of thing I do. In normal mode, that's sort of the only time I really use recoveries is when I make silly mistakes like that. A convenience recovery to get back and adjust whatever it is I've got attached. I thought we had a um, repair trailer here. Obviously not. Like a service trailer thing. Y'alls know what I mean. It's down there in it. We didn't pull it out. I've touched up some of the repairs. When we get into Pedro, as we come past the load star, we'll, uh, we'll hop in the loadie and fix whatever needs fixing on here as well because it's took a few a few bumps it looks all right but i bet it won't take much to uh, have a tire go at the minute Sort of helped. The barriers are just annoying because they're, they're so feeble, but they can cause you so much damage. Damage. Emotional damage. And all that.
and we're off to go and grab fuel trailers, so we shouldn't need to take fuel. We shouldn't need to. I think one of them is full, the other one might be half full. Not 100% again on that. We'll skip the intro, we just need to get moved in. I don't think I've said it in my halfway through, I should imagine. And thank you very much for coming back and uh, supporting the series. Hope you're enjoying it. I think we're making good progress. Um, there's probably only about two of you still watching at this point, so to you guys, thank you very much. If you are still here watching at this point, uh, pop down your favourite fruit. Your favourite fruit in the comments, what do you like? I like a little fruit and vegetable comment. Quite often my tool is telling who's still about. So we will just jump into the loadage. The loadage star. And we shall repair. It went in too bad a condition, was it? Not bad at all. Um, shall we refuel it? How is it not used up any fuel? What? Oh, it has. It's me being um, <laughs> numerically dyslexic. Those numbers look the same. They are not. <laughs> uh, let's not take it out of there. Let's put it there. Just in case I mess up and get stuck. We shouldn't, but, you know. I do do things. That is uh, well established. Go and grab ooh, the. Alright, mate. <laughs> we'll go and grab the farthest one first. A little bit of mud here, but we might be alright. Man, naughty. I thought we were going to be alright in high gear. Clearly not. Don't want to destroy too many of those winch points. We've got to come back through with a full trailer. Sun is starting to set on us. It must have got a trailer on. We might, we might have a little uh, in cabbage. In cabbage. You get what I mean. Might have a little bit more of this. But we'll just wait until we got the trailer on.
Put them as yourselves. Just having a nice little easy one today. Enjoy the sounds of the truck. Enjoy the environment. <laughs> I'm sure more drama and cursing will come later on. So, so at the minute, every time I start talking, if I talk for more than a few minutes, that, that irritation keeps coming back in the back of my throat, and I don't know what it's all about. Just, just life trying to throw another spanner in the works on the content front and take away your ability to speak. Yeah, that's what we've come for. Through their fence. I don't know what to say. I did it again. Instantly stuck it in low point. The fuel drain mode. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Just repaired that. And it just fixed it. God damn it. In cab at night, big trailer on the ice. Let's go. Pure concentration. Can't see nothing in the mirrors, so we don't need to worry about them. Just need to make sure we're on the on the high side, pretty much. When we come on to uh, turns with the ice, because it will try and pull or slide the trailer down. Getting automatic in the muck. Then we should be good now. Words out. It's not. I was going to say it's not a quick truck. It's not a quick truck. The Derry Longhorn. But as I often say, and is frequently pointed out by many others, it's not a race here. This is not a race. It's just nice to get things done quick and feel the progress, I guess, and the progression. But yeah, as long as you're getting the delivery done in a for me, moderately efficient fashion. I'll take five to six litres a minute, happily, whilst under load. So yeah, if we try and stick to having this up pretty high, the trailer's doing all right, it's starting to come around. You can see it in the mirror there, it's starting to slide. It is a thing. I'm not talking absolute rubbish. I do. I do sometimes know what what I'm doing. I've put enough hours into this game on multiple platforms to know a little bit, especially in these early maps. So I was just so disappointed that Michigan just kept going so wrong for me. Like I didn't expect to be massively quicker, but maybe, you know, 
five to seven episodes less is what I was would have hoped for. We had a couple of days where we had really good progression on there and then others where it just didn't happen. <laughs> we kept tipping over and getting stuck and yeah, crazy. Sometimes it was just because of overconfidence as well. Sometimes that was uh, a big part of the problem. In cab, you have to sort of look at where you want the the winch to go. Again, that doesn't always work either. Which is a bit of a bugger, but is what it is. shall top up the royal I'll oh, take it out of me how about I did didn't I Again, not an over necessarily important thing there, wasn't maybe needed. Because I'm hmm, not going to have them parked up at the end. I was going to have them parked up at the end, just so I'm not. But they will be parked up in the next map, so, you know, whatever, mate. Whatever I'm talking about, I'm sure I mean. To remember not to travel through the gateway as well. Something I do a lot on my other saves is just chop through gateways when I mean to do like a, a detach or a winch or something. for me to turn here should be All right let's go get the other one Back off by the BM. Yeah, a bit of a, a, bit of a slow one today. Considering we've had quite, quite action, action packed. Uh, well, quite productive. Um, I think the last maybe four or five, if not more. I think. Mate, I th honestly, I think Alaska has been pretty productive the whole way through so far. So we may have had. About like 15 really productive episodes. So today is it's just the slowdown, just trying to move things and, and have it in place, which you need to have every now and then in hard mode, I find.
and then we can um, yeah we'll, we'll top up the low star as we go past with the next one I forgot to do it as we went past um, again I'm not sure if this is full this trailer or whether this is a half trailer the fuel so who knows someone does just so we can try and reverse a bit there. It'll probably make no difference whatsoever, but we'll try. And I think, once I've turned this round, because I'm not certain on what wheels the ANK has and how easy it's going to get about, so I'd like to turn this round and then try and get the ANK here and then pull the ANK with this. Oh, it's full. Nice. Oh, it's too far away. There we go. So, if we can... Try and loop it. Well, I think the Royal will be able to pull it. Because although we found we found the ANK with the scout, I don't think we even jumped in it. I'm not sure. We might have done. Less the MK38. Here it is. Uh, it's, it's tires actually aren't that bad, are they? Probably could have done a job for us, but. It might do some basic deliveries for us, but I don't think it's going to do a lot. Like I say, it's just limited by not being able to change that bed on the back. It really limits it. It's a relatively quick truck. Um, you know, a little bit on the tippy side sometimes, but that's mainly because it is quick. I quite like it. The again, I prefer the civilian. I think the ANK civilian is a, is a great early game truck. To be fair, it's pretty cheap. I say it gets about nice and quick. But this, even the civilian, you can't put a crane on. But again, that's that's sort of its down point, its downside. But it, you know, all-wheel drive and diff lock always on, on an American truck is pretty cool. Especially a smaller one like that. I'm going to change the truck. I'll start the engine so I get my winch out, don't I? Bit of sham. Yeah, I'll leave the engine. I'll have the engine on. So just want to guide it more than anything.
pulling along nicely. Don't think we've grabbed a screenshot today, so we'll see if we can uh, get one while in editing. Got one, one in the dark. Come on, up the hill. The sun will start coming up soon as well. So I want to make sure the load star is fully fueled. to the A and K from here, but that's fine. But now when we need to come back into uh, Petro Bay, the load star will serve as a bit of a fuel mill if we need it. And if it does get a little bit short for whatever reason, it's, it's pretty quick to run into uh, Mountain River and grab something and come out again. If not, rather than having all this fuel, pretty much stuck here. And we're definitely going to need it elsewhere. Right. So, let's detach that and then we'll. I want one of them to at least be like full. There we go. Right. Um, I'm gonna jump and get the boil. As we go past the load star, we will get also some repairs. Is that had taken a little, a little bit of a beating by the looks of it? So I think what we're going to do is take, should we put the handbrake on, 
try and take the two fuel trains through. If it will allow me, it should do. Where are my little pips? There we are. Right, so we're going to take these through together and then we'll bring the trucks through um, to save some load screens and, and whatnot for you. I'll just do them all and you'll join me when I've got all four things through. So we should have quite a mess of stuff. So let's try and find a change truck. Where is the ink? We'll take the ink to start with. Get that out of the way. Don't know what I'm going to do with the ink yet. I haven't decided. Might go and park it up. And now, um, in the gas station, in the fuel station. It can just wait here. It can wait here. That's where he's going to be. And then we'll get the Royal. And this is going to need to get itself a trailer. Which is down on the factory. And we'll put a five slot over sideboard or flatbed on the back of this for jobbages. I'm going to put it on right now, though, because oh, the voice is going to go again. Right, so, Derry. Derry has the fullest fuel tank on at the minute, doesn't it? This tank can go here. Don't delete it. <laughs> That's the trouble. You have that habit of deleting. Um, sometimes you can delete the wrong thing. Again, I've done that on my normal modes a few times. Cannot lie. And then this one, which I believe is the Entira. Entira? I say even the thing. Of the, of the few, of the two. Cool, words, mate. Because I'm getting hungry. Which might sound weird to you, but it's uh, about quarter past one in the afternoon, and I haven't eaten since, well, I had half a bagel this morning at about seven o'clock. Which sounds quite strange for a fat man like myself, but that is where I'm at. Right. So, I'm not going to take from that one then, because it's got more in it than I thought. But I think we can empty out the, uh, the Scout fuel trailer that's here into this big trailer. Let's see if we can do that. So, we fuel. Yeah, there's not much in there at all. Into there. Boom. And then I shall... Yeah, done. 
and then this trailer will live here for now. When we get things sorted. And that is uh, going to be it for today. I think that should wind us up for a good a good time. Wind us up for a good time. Yeah, that should do us for today. Um, so yeah, we we got the uh, the drill parts, which feels like that was so long ago. We did the drill parts delivery. We've got the the fuel trailer that was stuck. We've got that right close to its delivery point. We just need to get six hundred ish liters of fuel out of there before we deliver it. We have got the cat filled with fuel. We refilled the small scout trailer. That's already up in uh, White Valley. We've pulled the fuel trailers out of Pedro, but left fuel in Pedro. And now from where we're pretty much going to be working out of, or at least passing through, is Mount River. So we're, we're well stocked up here. I may move this fuel trailer just to the other side of the bridge before we start doing a lot of work. Just because that's a, there's a nice parking bit there we can pull it in. It's near the, the, the gas station that's there anyway. And, and then that can be our fuel point going in and out of um, White Valley. We've, and then we've got a fuel point going in and out of Pedro. And we've got fuel in Northport anyway. Excuse me. So, uh, yeah, pretty good, I think. Let me know what you think about my logistics there on that one. Um, but hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on. Find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.